Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome back to Dragon Ball Z Universe 2. So, guys, today's gonna be a lot of fun. I'm gonna be announcing the next subscriber battles. Also, Rivesdale created a Saitama character, so we teamed up and we battled Whis and Beerus. It was a lot of fun. We had a lot of fun conversation. All right, guys, here we go. So guys, I wanted to start off by talking about the subscriber battles and give you guys all the details. And then we'll get into the parallel quest with Rhyme Style. But dude, I'm on my PS4 right now. I don't have Super Saiyan. I think this quest with Vegeta hooks me up with Super Saiyan. I'm not reading what he's saying. He's saying, dude, Vegeta's got a lot to say. All I read was Numbskull. <laughs> okay, defeat Goku and Vegeta. Super Saiyan. Guys, this is perfect. Okay, so guys, here we go. Details for the next subscriber battles. So it's going to be next weekend, Saturday, April the 29th, Saturday. We're aiming for around the same time, around 2, 3 p.m. Eastern. And I'm planning on doing Xbox One again. We will do PS4 soon. Maybe we'll do that after this one. Maybe we'll do some PS4. Uh, but, dude, I still got to gotta work on this character. I'm just getting Super Saiyan. Uh, plus, I do want to get some better moves for, for this Joku. But yeah, so that's the plan this Saturday, or next Saturday, April 29th, around 2, 3 p.m. Eastern. And yeah, so here's how it's gonna work. Same thing as last time. I'm gonna tweet, I'm gonna tweet it out um, that we're gonna be playing with subscribers. All you gotta do is respond to the tweet with your username. And here's the thing, I still am getting a lot of tweets. I'm getting a lot of tweets from people saying like, hey, let's battle. Thing is, I won't be responding to those tweets because um, I'm already saying in the videos, like, the only way to play with me is responding to the tweet where I say we're playing with subscribers. So, yeah, that's really all you got to do. Just respond to that tweet with your username. I'll get as many people in as possible. But like I said before, please understand. Please understand if you aren't able to make it this time. Because, dude, last time I didn't count how many people, but we had a lot of people trying to join. So, oh, here we go. Dude, Joku, Joku going Super Saiyan 3 for the first time on PS4. There we go. Dude, it feels so good. <laughs> but yeah, so we had a lot of people trying to join last time. And yeah, I think we got maybe, maybe between like 10 and 12 people. So dude, we're just gonna keep doing sub battles. So if you don't make it this time, hopefully next time, hopefully in the future. Wait, I can't use any supers? While in Awoken, press, oh. It's like teaching me how to turn it on and off, okay. Uh, but yeah, that's pretty much it. It's pretty simple. April 29th, between 2 and 3 p.m. Eastern, reply to the tweet with your username. That's pretty much it. And also, keep your, uh, like, connect, like, disconnected or your mic off. Um, just because, like I said before, the mic with the Xbox, like, it's just not great quality, so it kind of messes with the video. But that's really all you need to know. Okay, Vegeta. Dude, you gave me the Super Saiyan. I kind of got all I need from you. Dude, I can't believe I can't do any supers. That's kind of strange. <laughs> I wanted to do some kind of ultimate on him. Okay, well, this will have to do. <laughs> also, guys, I got to give you a heads up. When I recorded this video with Rhyme Style, I hit the record on my audio, but I forgot to hit record on the video, so there's going to be like a couple seconds. Uh-oh, they're getting back up. So there's gonna be a few second delay. I might just cut it out and pick up to where I started recording. Yeah, so you might miss like the intro where I <laughs> introduce him. But also, guys, I think I mentioned it. I think I mentioned it with him, but he recorded a video on his channel as well, um, where we did a payload quest on his channel. So definitely check it out. But yeah, so maybe we'll do PS4 after this one, and maybe we'll do some PC sub battles at some point, like. I'm thinking about maybe live streaming, live streaming some Xenoverse, doing some sub battles. Um, at some point, I don't have a date for that yet, but when I do, I'll definitely let you guys know. Okay, Vegeta. Dude, stop dodging me. I'm starting to get my moves back with the PS4 version of Joku. It feels pretty good. Also, you probably noticed I'm level 55. Rhymestyle and I, we actually did a little leveling up off camera, so that helped out a lot. So we finally got Super Saiyan on our PS4 version. That's really good. So guys, what you're about to see, like I said, 
I teamed up with Rhyme Style. He made a really, really good Saitama character, and we teamed up to do a little parallel quest. And I think we had some pretty good conversation. It was it was fun. All right, guys, here we go. Now, what I want, what I want everybody to do, and I'm talking about everybody. If you're watching this, pause the video. The comment section <laughs> below. I want you to let uh, Pungents know he needs to go wa watch One Punch Man immediately. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm sorry, Pungents, but your comments about the fill with people uh, requesting this. Dude, out of all, out of every anime ever made, I think that's the most requested. That I watch. It's so good. I feel like the most about it is that it's short and sweet. Like not that you know I hate long anime. Long anime is fine, but like right. what's good about this is it's just one of those ones that you can like put on any time, and it's just the animation is amazing. The fights are incredible. It's it's top tier, and the, the best part is it's just like it's 12 episodes long, so it's like you can kind of get through it, and you can watch it four times in one sitting, in one afternoon. Like, well, not really, but you, you go <laughs> right. So it's just one season. Right now it's one season. I think season two has been announced uh, s for later this year, I want to say. Dude, Majin Buu just um, ate me. He turned me into a cookie and ate me. And he pooped you out afterwards. And he pooped me out! It's kind of gross. <laughs> it's a little gross. <laughs> but yeah, so you're saying season two should be coming out this year. Okay. So, dude. Yeah, okay, let me, let, me, let me drop a little fun fact. Drop so, a little fun one fact. One Punch Man. Yeah. So, I don't know if everybody knows this, but One Punch Man actually started as a webcomic. There's a guy named uh, Yusuke Murata. No, no, no. His guy name was, his name was One. Yusuke Murata was the guy who turned it into, an, into a, the manga, uh, which then became an anime. This guy named One was doing like a webcomic where basically he, you know, it was like a, a, a comparative character of, of Saitama where he's just super powerful. He beats people in One Punch. Yeah. And what happened was, one day Yusuke Murata saw this comic on Twitter. On Twitter. <laughs> and he reached out to One. And he was like, hey, uh, I like your series, can I turn it to manga? And the guy was like, yeah, sure, go for it. And next thing you know, it blows up. It's what? massive, it's selling manga copies, it's an anime, it's got a cold following all over Twitter. Dude, that's insane. Yeah. Was this recent? Like, I want to say uh, within the last, like, three years. Okay. I think, the, I think there's like 30 uh, volumes in a manga or something around it right now. The anime aired last year and finished. Uh, and then season two is getting ready to start this year. So I want to say within the last three years. Dude. But it's just crazy, like, all through Twitter. <laughs> Can you just imagine that you're just sitting there living your life right. having like a fun series that you're just drawing for fun? It was just funny because the, the, the story is Saitama is a hero for fun. Right. So this guy is just doing this manga for fun. And then, you know, this, uh, this manga artist reaches out and says, hey, let's, let's do this. And the next thing you know, it's massive. Wow. Yeah. Dude, that oh. is crazy. So, as far as his, like, strength, I'm not going to spoil it for anybody else who hasn't seen it, and for myself, but as far as his strength, is it like, what do people debate? His strength versus Goku? Is that like, oh. is that the debate? Yeah. Should I not yeah, even yeah, bring you, that up? You, you <laughs> always get those debates. The, the yeah. problem is, is, is uh, Saitama is designed to be a, a gag character. He's a parody. Technically, yeah. Arale from uh, Dr. Slump slash the Dragon Ball universe now, because uh, she was introduced in Dragon Ball several times, as well as Dragon Ball Super, she's a guy character that can basically beat anybody with one, one, one attack as well. Oh, okay. I mean, the, the idea of a parody character is like, doesn't matter how powerful you are, if you're written to be comically strong where you beat someone in one punch, then you know, technically you could beat Goku too, right. according to the rules of your, of your writing. Now, what I will say is, I still don't think he can beat Goku, just due to the fact that Goku's character is written to beat limits and always beat every like you know villain or enemy comes across that's so, true even though yeah even though uh saitama is technically made to be uh you know one punch man where he punches anybody one punch and wins goku's made to break limits exactly that's his, that's in his character writing yeah so to say that you know oh, oh um what's my call it uh uh saitama can beat goku in one punch will be kind of ridiculous even though that is his writing, and the reason why it's ridiculous is because again, Goku's writing is made up to, to surpass the limit and just you know, you know, find the weaknesses of characters that can't be because exactly. All time. Well, dude, yeah. it reminds me of the Goku Superman, Superman. debate. Exactly. <laughs> like, yeah. Like I don't know, man. I know what was it? What was the? Was it Screw Attack or something? They did like yeah, a science. They did a whole battle. like scientific thing on it. Yeah. And what do you think? It seemed like they just based it off of like. Superman can get unlimited power from the sun or something. Yeah. And well, Goku would problem, want him at his strongest or something like that. 
My only problem is, is like, you can't ever compare characters because technically every character in, in a specific series has like something that makes them super powerful. I mean, technically, by laws of writing, Light Yagami from Death Note is the most, which, by the way, Death Note you have to watch. It should be number one on your list. It's only 36 episodes long. Light, Light Yagami from Death Note technically is the strongest anime character of all time because really? he has a notebook where if you write your name in it, you die. <laughs> like, instant death. I yeah. guess that beats which, everybody. Yeah, technically. <laughs> but there are rules, and like, now, here's here's what people will say about Death Note. Well, Death Note says, the human whose name you write in his book shall die. Therefore, Goku is not a human. Goku is a oh, Saiyan. Okay. It yeah, so people will always compare, like, you know, the, the special writing, where it's like, well, will that, will that actually work? Right. To which it's like, I, I mean, it's up in the air, honestly. But like, as far as Goku versus Superman, the thing is, is... Both characters are designed to go, you know, past limits and have like an unlimited pool of strength that they can reach. Uh, but honestly, it's like, I, it's it's hard to decide. It's hard to decide. I know, man. What did you think? Do you think that was a legit, like, a legit analysis how they did it? Not at the time. The only problem with the with both death battles actually is, uh, you know, I'll go after Whis, so you can go after Beerus. Yeah. The only problem with both death battles is that it's gonna be a huge debate in the comments, but <laughs> hey, be friendly, guys. Everybody be, be friendly be, with, with, be with friendly. your fellow. Yeah. Um, the problem with death battle is they kind of, like, analyze powers that weren't really known yet. Like, right. when they did the first death battle, we didn't know about, you know, Super Saiyan God. Exactly. When they, did a, when they did the second death battle, we didn't know what the power of Super Saiyan God was. Right. Uh, Cause like when we in Dragon Ball Super, which you watched the Beerus arc, right? Right. Yeah. So you remember like when Goku and Beerus are fighting in the anime, and they were like when they were clashing, it was literally felt in the entire universe. Right. Like theoretically, if Goku oh. and Superman clashed, it would have been felt in the, the entire universe. You know. So if if Goku's punches could be felt in the universe, I still think he could beat Superman. But like, it's a it's a good argument, and I guess it's more uh, it's better than the average like oh Goku can win or Superman can win because yada yada yada. Right. But at the same time, it's really hard to decide. Yeah. Here's a question. Yeah. Do you think Goku could move a planet? Oh yeah, I definitely think so. I think so too. Yeah, because I think that was one of their things. They said like Superman moved a planet or something. I think he could do that. Yeah. Well, the other thing to think about is. In Dragon Ball, when Master Roshi's parlor was like 120, 150, whatever it was, something small, yeah. he was able to blow up the moon. And he right. moved, you know, in the Saiyan saga, you see uh, Piccolo blow up the moon when, when Gohan was transforming. Right. And they all had like right. super low parlors. But right now, we're talking about in the in the trillions, probably. Like the parlor levels could be massive. And I hate talking about parlor levels. But like, <laughs> right. It's like when you can do that much damage as a. Um, as Apollo 180, can you imagine what you can do with Super Saiyan Blue? Exactly. Crazy stuff. Yeah. Yeah, it, it is pretty it's, insane. It's 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 always kind of like hard to do these debates just because like, you know, there's always some kind of action writing that can come out later and retcon and change characters. So I just say like this. Whatever series you like and grew you grew up on, that wins. You know? Yes, exactly. Dude, I noticed yeah. you finished your character. Um, I mean, I ain't one punch, man. So <laughs> that is true. All you need is one punch. So is this is this like proper etiquette, like letting the other person take him down? Have I been stealing? Uh, like we did, guys off camera. We did like a, a bunch of quests to level up a little bit. Yeah. And like when I was down, done with my character, I kept like jumping in. <laughs> is that like bad <laughs> etiquette? Well, no, it's not really. Like, I just yeah, figured I'll let you, you know, give you the honor of killing the god. Take down the god. I took out the angel. Whis, you can take down the god. Okay. Just, the, just the, the, the respect between warriors type of thing, you know. I appreciate it. <laughs> Dude, we took that down pretty, pretty good. Yeah, and I leveled up twice. Look at that. Wow. So what are you at? I am currently on level 67. 67. I'm at like 56. Yep. We're getting there. <laughs> <laughs> that's not bad. Well, dude, I think that's going to do it. Yeah. Yeah, I think we'll just do one for today. That was pretty good. Good combo. I am like, part of me is interested to see the comments. Part of me is cringing a little bit. <laughs> oh, it's going to be great. Like, it's going to be good. Like we said, be <laughs> civil, be respectful in the comments. I think it's just fun to talk about. Yeah, it definitely is. Yeah. I mean, we grew up doing that. It's like you've watched Dragon Ball or whatever anime you're watching at the time. You go to school the next day, you talk about it. That's what we do. That's why we love these series. Exactly. Uh, but guys, also, check out the description. I'll put a link. We did a video on Rhyme Sales channel as well. Definitely check it out. And sub to his channel if you haven't. But 
That's gonna have to do it. You got anything else? Uh, I was gonna say, if you guys wanna see more parallel quest videos, also comment some quests you wanna see us do, yes. and then we can do this again. Definitely. Awesome. Your choice. Yes. Our fate is in your hands. <laughs> well, dude, thanks again for joining, and we'll see you guys next time. Peace. Oh, man. Dude, this is sick. <laughs> he just transformed into a great ape. Oh, my goodness. Oh. <laughs> What's happening? Are we fusing somehow? How did that happen? We just went Super Saiyan 5.